Hi, this is the Bosch HBA 13B 253B single oven. Today I'll show you some of the features and benefits of it. I've got it connected up, so let's go. Just before we start, I'll just point out there are actually two ways you can connect this oven. The first one is the normal hard wiring into a main socket. That's the way that most single ovens are connected. The next way, is, and the way I've got this one connected, is literally through a 13 amp socket. And basically once you've attached the plug onto the end, you can just plug it into any socket. And the advantage is that you don't actually have to have a main cooker point in the kitchen. Now the first thing you'll notice, once it's been connected, is you've got all of the digits on the front here. That basically means we need to set the clock. And it is very easy. All you do is you just press the clock button on there. And depending on the time, you can just press the plus or minus to set the time. So that's the, the first thing. Very, very easy. So if you are connecting it yourself, then that's the first step done. So as I've already shown you, the display on here is a red display and it's very well lit, so it's, it's easy to read. The controls at the top, the functions are actually pop-in, pop-out controls. So when you're not using it, you can pop the dials in and it's a nice smooth finish. And also it's nice like that because they're very easy to keep clean. The handle on it is a nice solid metal handle and when you pull the door down, it's very easy to get everything in and out. A couple of things to point out on the inside of this oven compared to most other ovens. On this one you've actually got five shelf positions. Uh, something to look out for when you're buying an oven because some of them only have three uh, which can when you've got food in here and especially if you're doing tall say a joint or something then that can make a difference where the shelves are positioned. You actually get two of these. So you get two of these type racks. They slide easily in and out. And at the bottom you've got a really good roasting tin. There are other accessories that you can get. So if you did want extra shelves or extra tins then you can also get those from Bosch Direct. Now on this oven you've actually got quite a few different settings on here. So as far as the timer settings, you can actually time the oven to come on and also turn off at certain times. And that's basically done through the menu here. And when you press that you can just guide through here. So that's 30 minutes in the timing. And basically what that does is that will set the oven and that's actually set to come on for 30 minutes. And then at the end of that time, that will switch itself off. Now as far as the settings on the oven, on the left hand side, you've got the light. This is basically just the light on. So if you need light in the kitchen, then you can use that. It is basically a single bulb underneath here. It is easy to get to and it is easy to replace if you need to in the future. The next one would be the defrost setting. That's mainly if you wanted to obviously defrost bread, meat, and the times would vary accordingly. The grill setting. Of course, once you've selected these, you do need to select the temperature as well. Then you've got the fan assisted grill. Main advantage with the fan assisted is that it gives more of a, an even heat distribution. Now, this is a feature which Bosch mainly have, it's called 3D Hot Air. The main advantage of this, and it is a really good function, basically this utilises the fan at the back of the oven, and what it will do is it will provide an even heat throughout the oven. So, now another useful feature on the oven is this, it's the child lock, and to set the child lock you press and hold the key button for 4 seconds. And as you can see, the little key symbol has appeared. The main advantage of this, although you can still turn the dials, and if you hear that, the fan will still come on, but what it does is it actually interrupts the heating element. So even if you turn that on, 
and you try and turn it up, although some of the functions can still work with the child lock enabled, it won't heat up. And to disable the child lock, you basically press and hold the key for four seconds again. And as you can see, now I've disabled the child lock, everything has come on as normal. Now obviously for most people, at some point during the life of the oven, you want to clean it. Uh, what you can do, there are a couple of features on here that are really, really good for the cleaning. The first one, at some point you might want to take these out. And to do that, you literally lift it up, and then from the back, just pull it, and it comes out. Obviously with those, you can give them a good wash under hot soapy water, or put them in the dishwasher. And then to put them back in, just locate it at the back first, push it along, that drops in there like that. Ever so easy. Now another option you do get on this oven, which you don't get on many of the other manufacturers, is the option to remove the door. Literally all you need to do is pull these two tabs out at the side, push the door up a little bit, and then lift it, and the doors come up. You do have the option to remove the glass from here if you want to, just to make it easy for cleaning. And then to put the door back on, it just drops back into place, pull it back, but you have to make sure you put those little tabs back, and then you're ready to go. I hope you found the video useful on the Bosch HBA 13B253B. Please give us a thumbs up on a YouTube video and leave any comments below. If you are interested in this oven, then see the link below. Thank you very much.